What's up, guys? Airsoft Assault here. here. Um, I just want to do a little review on the BBTAC P169 um, Airsoft Pistol eight months later. Um, the review, uh, make sure you want to watch the first review um, before you watch this video, but I had bought these in a pack of two, and now I'm down to one, so I'll explain that, but um, let's just get into why this is the worst Airsoft gun I've ever bought. The first thing, uh, the first reason this is bad is the magazine. I'm gonna take it out. Uh, it's a terrible magazine, because you have to load them one by one. Um, but you can't clip the bottom, so you end up doing this a million times. And when you finally get it, you just have to hold it down there while using your other hand to push the BBs in. Super annoying, I wish I could just clip it down there, and then push them in so it's a lot faster, but... No, they had to design this terribly. After about five to six months of use, uh, the other gun that I bought with this just completely broke. The trigger stopped working. It was super flimsy. Um, the gun just started falling apart, tearing apart when it hadn't been dropped or anything. It, it was just a crappy design. Uh, definitely made in some cheap Chinese factory. But, um, yeah, you don't want to buy this. I tried fixing it, um... By un like unattaching everything, unscrewing everything. But the problem is that these little screws right here, these do not fit any Allen wrenches. Any size. I went through probably eight different Allen wrenches trying to get that one open. Um, and none of the Allen wrenches made in the U.S. that I could find open uh, or the right size for this little bolt. So... Uh, that's super annoying. I had to just throw it out because it was broken. It couldn't be taken apart. If you unscrew all the other hook or all the other screws, you still can't get it apart. These two are, are vital. So you can either rip the gun apart and then you won't be able to put it back together, or uh, you just throw it out like I did. So um, yeah, that's the main concern. Once the trigger breaks, if the trigger ever jams or breaks, you're not going to be able to fix it. You're just gonna have to throw it out. So. Don't waste your money. It's not going to be good. Um, trust me, I know. I thought this was going to be a good choice for a gun. Ended up being terrible. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys save your money and do not buy the BB Tech P169. One last thing. If you guys have any questions about uh, why I hate this gun or any questions about how it broke or what happened, uh, just comment. I'll answer all your questions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next review.